Hello there and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another fun, cool tutorial. This one is on the USS Bofin, or the Baleo class submarine. Uh, this is the 287, and there are other ones in this class. Uh, but this is the one that I built because this is one that I went and saw at Pearl Harbor, so I thought it would be cool to recreate it in Minecraft. So anyways, our size is 95 by 27 by 9. Alright guys, so the materials we're going to be using are anything of the light gray variants or black, so we can use wool or clay on uh, the exterior here. I've got some stone bricks, and then I've got some oak fence gates, and then I also have some another brick fence, uh, cobblestone wall, iron bars, and uh, some stone brick stairs and I think that's probably pretty much about it there is no interior guys and there probably won't be uh, I do have a video of the actual tour of this that I'll try to link in the description if you want to try to make uh, an interior in this uh, but other than that that is what I have now on the front there is a 20 millimeter uh, machine gun and then on the back there is a 40 millimeter uh, Bofors cannon that is what is it's how it sits in the museum right now uh, in its earlier stage I think there was actually two of the uh, machine guns here and here and then later it was upgraded so anyways you can switch these out later in the tutorial for whatever version that you want uh, any other upgrades that were made to the sub I am unaware of and um, <laughs> that's the best I got I will show you how to make the 287 banner on the side uh, at the end of the tutorial uh, and then also another note the uh, the bow diving plane uh, is a little large I think I may uh, later on try to shrink that down but I'll show you how to make this one here and then if you want to readjust it that's great and send me pictures on Facebook to, of your fix that would be wonderful but anyways let's go ahead and oh I want to show you really quick it is five uh, layers underwater uh, and then I was just did a side-by-side -side comparison thought this would be kind of cool to uh, to do and I put it next to the uh, Ohio class submarine that I built just so you can see a, uh, a size comparison so anyways uh, let's jump over here and uh, let's look at some dimensions all right guys so we're gonna be building three different sections it should be a very very easy build uh, we've got a 56 by 9 section um, a small section that is 38 by 9 and it goes to right here and then it steps up by 1 and it's 18 by 9 on this section right here and then we've got a, a nose piece that's really easy that's 16 by 9 and then a tail section that is 23 by 8 again this is what it is going to look like <laughs> if you want to make it in this color go ahead but um you can lay it out using these colors or just try to follow along um, this just makes it easier visually so that you can see where everything goes all right guys a little post edit i'm coming back and redoing this part this little middle section here so there'll probably be a splice somewhere in between here and the nose piece so don't get confused i just thought it would be easier to redo this part and break it down and make it a little simpler uh, than what i had previously you'll never see it so it doesn't matter anyways so we had a piece here that was 56 by 9 we're going to break it down by two sections the first piece is 38 by 9 and the second one is 18 by 9 so what you're going to do is you're going to build this ring right here don't worry about the yellow that is supposed to be light gray uh, so anyways you're going to build a ring just like this so one two three four five across the bottom up diagonal by one and then go one two three four five and the orange is black and the light gray is, is light gray and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across the top, and the middle five are dark gray. And again, this is your light gray one here. You're gonna build this here, and it's gonna be 38 blocks long. So counting this ring is actually this one right here is the one that this one. <laughs> so from right here down to the other end is 38 blocks long. And that is your middle section. Don't worry about the holes in the back right now. This these pieces here is just a run of black behind these pieces just so it makes it look darker and it looks better uh, you can run that in afterwards I'll show you where the holes are here in just a minute so go ahead and build this piece here 38 by 9 and then we're gonna build this piece again which is 18 by 9 and uh, we're just gonna mirror this over so one two three four five is just gonna connect right in the end again by black one two three four five and then you're gonna go up by one and then one two three four five six so again you're gonna go here and go one two three four one two three whoops and then we switch over to the light gray and then three on top of that four five and six so it should be even with that come in by one 
And then same thing over here. We're going to go up one, two, three, and then again one, two, three, and then come across by one on each side. Oops, I already had that one. And then fill in with your dark gray here, just like that. And that is going to be this piece right here connected into this one right here. So you can see how it steps up by one and then starts going forward. So from this corner here, you're going to go 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you have this section here. Just imagine this slid back into this position. And then on top of it, you're going to build this little thing right here. So you can come in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the sixth block right here and put a gray block and then put another one here and then step everything up by one. So you can see running this forward right on top the, is this piece right here. So basically it sets one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be setting right here and you're going to run this forward just like that. Same thing on the other side just like that and then you're just going to run your dark gray in the middle. So hopefully that makes a little more sense. And then you're going to have a little cutout right here. And then your trap door right there at the very end. All right, so that should be the middle section. You should get that pretty good. And I can't remember where, what I've already got done uh, ahead because <laughs> I'm still in post edit. But anyways, once you get the metal piece done, uh, you can cut these holes in by coming by one, two, three, four, five. And then just skipping every other one and putting a hole in with a slab uh, on the bottom hitbox down in there and then on this piece that steps up again every other one putting five more holes in and again your orange is your black all right one thing i did forget to mention on this last piece right here uh, when you pull this up to the front uh, these two blocks won't be here uh, they're going to be on the outside just like this when you run it up towards the front of the submarine going into the nose section just go ahead and take out these two blocks and these two blocks and then bring this up by two and that up by two. That way the nose section lines up correctly and that will take care of that. All right guys, let's build the nose piece. So starting right here with your black. Again, if you wanna use your orange and then switch everything out later. Uh, we should be able to count it in this texture pack so it should be pretty easy. Just gonna go across front one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do three sections of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then four pieces out the front. One, two, three, four, very, very simple. Okay, we're just going to build right on top of that. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to go in by one, and then we're going to go forward by four, two, three, four, and then two in the front. One, whoops, one, two, and then same thing right here. We're going to one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> and a little extra one right there, and we're just trimming along the outside just like that. All right, next piece connects into the main body right here, and we're going to go four, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to sit right on top of this here and go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go the inside by one, two, three, and then come across the front just like this and surround it. And we're going to have one block on the front. And then same thing here. One, two, three, four. Set on top here. One, two, three, and four. So again, it should look just like that. All right, guys, we are now switching over to our light gray wool. And we're going to connect in right here and go one, two, three. And then we're going to come in by one and go forward two, three, four. And then come in one, two, three. And then come in right here one, two and surround this little piece three and put one on the front just like that again come down the side one two three one two three four and one whoops <laughs> one two three really really simple all right moving right along one two three four five six and then three one two three and then two one two and then again we're surrounding the front with that little block pattern two and then three across here and then one in the front same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and then one, two, just like that. All right, next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then again, same little pattern around the front, and then one block on the front here. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and then one, two, just like that. All right, next one is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then this is just a little different, just three across the front here, and then one just like that. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and then one, two. 
All right, almost done. We're going to go right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Overhang by two, so it'd be nine and ten. And then two blocks, one, two. Two more blocks, one, two. And then three across the front, overhanging. One, two, three, and then one, just like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, one, two. And then one more layer on top of that. And we're just going to connect that in right here and go 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then we're just going to go in, out, in, out, and then go across the front, add one here, and then same thing on this side. So bring this up 13. So there's 10, 11, 12, 13, in, out, and then in. And then take your dark gray and finish filling in the forward nose section. All right, really, really simple. Let's move to the back. All right, guys, on the back, we're going to connect in right here. Again, we are on using a black. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to do that three times. One, two, three, four, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then two sections of three, just like this. And then I'm just going to use a placeholder just so we can see. We're going to go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and then we're going to start again with our black one two three all right we're going to grab a block of gold and right off the front to this block right here we're going to skip one put one skip one put one same thing here skip one put one skip one put one and then we're going to build a really really simple propeller so we're just going to make an x so we're just going to go up by one two just like this and then put one out the middle super super easy just like that and out the middle and then we can get rid of our holding blocks all right so that's what you should have so far all right back up here guys we're going to grab our black and we're going to go just to the outside here and we're going to connect in one two three four five six seven eight and then we're going to go back to the inside and we're going to skip the first two blocks and then we're going to go one two three and it should be even with that right here and then we're going to go to the inside and we're going to go up again three wide here and go back by six so two three four five six and fill that in and of course on the other side gonna do the same thing one two three four five six seven eight and then leave the first two blocks and then go one two three so I should connect in just like that all right grab your cobblestone wall and this should connect into the back of our propellers one two three four five six seven eight and nine it should go in to the back just like that same thing on this side one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then we have three blocks coming out the back one two three and that is that layer all right forgot four blocks right on top of here so one two three and then one coming out the back is four now that layer is complete all right next layer we're going to go right on top of this one here one two three four we're going to go to the inside one two three four five six we're going to go to the inside again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're going to build this up by two three and then come across and then same thing on this side here so one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oops that's not right <laughs> six one two three four five six and then to the inside by ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten and then go ahead and fill in the center just like that all right next layer guys we're going to start to the outside right here by one two we're going to go in by seven one two three four five six seven all right we're going to go in again by ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten same thing on the other side two out here and then one two three four five six seven and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten come in by one two three and then come in by one two three really simple layer all right next layer goes right on top of this one two three four five six and then to the inside twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve same thing over here one two three four five six and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and come in by three one two three same thing here two three and then come in by one and then make a little square just like we did on the front all right again right on top one two three four five six seven and then in by four one two three four and then in by nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine same thing over here one two three four five six seven 
and then n by 1, 2, 3, 4, and then n by 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, n by 2, and then, whoops, and then 1 right here on the end. So n by 2, and then 1 in on the end. All right, and then I've got some cobblestone wall pieces right here that go on the third block. Skip one, it goes on the outside of this block, and then right here on that block, just where this one ends, and then one right here in the corner. So again, right here, and you just go straight across here, and then straight across here, and then this is down and over by one. So skip one, so it should be right there. Yep. All right, guys, these first seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, should actually be gray. So we're just going to go ahead and just change those over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was on the last layer. All right, continuing up with our light gray, we're going to go five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go in by three. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five. And then in by one, two, three. And we're going to come in by one here and one here and then switch back over to our black. All right, we're gonna add two on the outside here, two on the outside here, and then one, two here, one, two here. So it should fill in right where that little gap was. All right, we're gonna come in by 10, connecting up on this last one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Again, it should stop right here in that little hole. Same thing to the inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we can just fill that in, but come in on the third block, so leave two of these exposed here and then just fill this all the way back to right here and then add two blocks just like that and it should fill up again that gap. Now we're just going to go along the top with our cobblestone wall just like this. Oops, take that one out, go right here and then we're just going to keep going out to we'll touch this one here and then that's going to connect and then we're going to bring that out. This one here should come straight out and connect down to that one and then this should connect in here all right, then we're going to come in just like that, one here, one here, and then one just like that. Really, really simple. Again, so off this side right here, we're going to go straight out and then come up right there. And then this one comes straight out and then one more. And then this connects here and then this goes forward by two, connects here and then in 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 and again the, there's rear, uh, rear torpedo tubes right in here somewhere um, obviously with this scale um, there's no way to put them in so I didn't put any in take this straight back and then oops right here and then in and then back around just like that all right back to the inside one two three four five six one two three four five six and we're coming by three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, connecting on that back one right here. Gonna do it again, connecting one, two, three, connecting one, two, three, and then connect those right here, and then put two on the back. Switch back over to your black, and then run it all the way back, stopping two short, just like that. And then finish filling in your main deck piece here with your dark gray, whatever you're using. All right, so so far, this is what you should have hopefully in some different colors. Uh, right here at the back, you're gonna add three more light gray blocks. Right here, one, two, three. So one, and it should be light gray. Two, and then three, and then that'll give you some place to put a little flagpole if you want one, and then continue your uh, iron bars all the way around the outside, all the way up to the front, to this section. And uh, that, again, that's what you should have up front. All right, and now we're gonna lay out for the middle superstructure piece. Um, I think it's called a conning tower. Anyways, there's uh, two spaces here. Put a block and then make it three wide. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Just like that. All right, you're going to skip one, two spaces and then put a stair piece. And again, you can put two hatches right here if you want to. Skip two spaces and then put a cobblestone wall. And then skip two spaces and then put two light gray. And then three slabs around the outside just like that and you are set up for the middle piece. All right guys, really simple. You're just gonna build everything up by one. Just pull that back. And then put an extra stair just behind this one. All right, back up here to the front, we're gonna put one block and overhang by two. And then we're gonna turn this back one into three, just like this. And then we're gonna do two rows of five, so just come up by two. Just like that, and then go one, two, three, four, five. 
All right, and then we're going to go by 7. So go ahead and go 5. Put one on each side, just like this, and make it 7. Cut out this one, and then cut out this one. And that's where your ladder should be able to go up through. All right, and then we're going to go right behind that and fill that in. And then right in the middle, that's where you can have a hatch that goes down inside. So you can cut out the deck and go down in. All right, two rows just to the inside of that. Hold in by one and go one, two, three, four, five, and do it twice. One, two, three, four, five. And then right here, just take out these three and put in some dark gray wool. One, two, three. All right, go back to your light gray. And we're going to go to the outside right here. One, and go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing over here. I'm going to go out by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go in by two sets of two. So two, 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 two. And then this should be open here in the middle for a step to go in right here. And then you're going to fill the center in with dark gray, except right here where your ladders go. There's some uh, ladders here on the one, two, three, four, five, sixth, sixth block in right here. We're just going to do some dark gray wool around that just to make an opening. And then fill the rest in solid. And then switch back over to your light gray wool. On the third block, one, two, three, you're going to switch that one out. Skip one and then put two right here. Skip one. And then you're just going to take these out right here, these six blocks, and go one, two, one, two, one, two. So again, it should look just like that. All right, guys, back to the front. Uh, now, on the original one that was put down, uh, there I think there was two 20-millimeter uh, machine guns. There's one on the front, and there's one on the back. Now, on the museum, there is one in the front, and then there is a 40-millimeter uh, Bofors cannon here on the back right here. And then there is a 50 cal that sits right here. So if you want to put two machine guns on the top, you can. Anyways, we'll just build the uh, the bovers first, and then I'll show you how to switch them out. You're just going to take a piece of light gray wool, and you're going to go here on the third block. And then you're going to grab some stairs, and you're going to go here. And you're going to put two on the outside, just like that. And then a slab here. All right, put one more block on top, just like that. And then grab some uh, oak fence uh, gates or whatever, and put those on the back. And then grab your cobblestone wall and go one two three four five <laughs> five going that way and then i've got another slab underneath just like that that goes right here and then that is your bofors anti aircraft uh, if you want to switch it over to a machine gun just take this off and then take these off and then just put like four fence posts three four just like that and that's close enough for a machine gun all right and then around the outside up here we've got some uh iron bars and that we're just going to wrap around the outside just like this. And then just bring it back onto those two pieces right here. Same thing on the other side. Just like that. And I meant to bring this one in by one. So it should look just like that. Switch over to your light gray. And right behind here we're going to put one and then two pieces here. And we're going to go up by one and cover up this little gap. And put two blocks. Same thing on this side here. And cover up those two blocks. And then to the inside covering up these. One, two, three, and then do it four times. So it should stop right here where these openings are. And then cover up those two. And then this is the back. Bofors and aircraft. So again, you can just put your stairs on the side, just like we just built the other one. And then you've got a slab. And then another gray piece. And then your fence posts, or your uh, fence gate, rather. And then your cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five and then a slab underneath right here and then I've got some cobblestone wall pieces that go here and here again those are just trim pieces all right and then switch over to your uh, iron bars and connect everything around into here and just like that for that layer all right back to your light gray wool we're just going to build everything up by one so just go ahead and, and grab these right here and just one block going back on that and then uh, nine blocks here, and then one block right here, and then a fence post on the back side of that. All right, we're gonna put another block on top of that, another fence post, and then back to our light gray wool, and we're gonna have three down the middle, just like that. All right, we're gonna put two pieces of gray wool here and here, and then one more here, and then we're gonna take our slabs, and we're just gonna cover up this little gap right here, fill that in, go around the back side one here, and then a couple pieces just like that. And then go back to our light gray wool. And we're going to put three pieces on top. One, two, whoops. <laughs> light gray wool. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
and then this one should be four, one, two, three, four. So we need one more on top of that, one, two, three, four. And then a little cobblestone wall piece on top. And then we're just gonna run over here and look at this one because we're pretty much finished. Uh, we've got your rear uh, uh, aft periscope at number two, and then your forward periscope number one. So right on top of these, we've got one, two pieces of cobblestone wall. And then you can just run these up as far as you like. I went one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six high seven high on the front one get rid of that and then one two three four on the uh the aft one or number two and then i just ran these up to the top of here added two more pieces of fence post uh, a piece of gray and uh, this is the the rear antenna and then one two three four pieces and then a couple little pieces of uh fence post sticking out and then just trimmed off this with a piece of cobblestone wall two pieces of slabs and then some bars up the side and that finishes off pretty much the uh the main conning tower i think it's called i think i already said that but i'm not sure all right and then as far as your iron bars i'm just going to switch that over on let's see this one over here and uh, that way you can see the design uh, or is it really really simple let's see uh, we've got a couple uh, anvils up front here for tie off and you don't have to put them on there you can if you want to uh, again right here on the front uh, i've got a piece of uh gray wool and then one two three four five pieces high and then I just started off that at the bottom one and then one two three four and then one two three four and one two three four five 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 and then one two three four and it should connect into the front uh, of this piece here for the forward periscope and then somewhere I will probably annotate this part too I did change the uh, uh, the bow fin uh, control right here uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go over that right now so if you go in front of this hole right here one two three four five six seven eight on the ninth block uh, right here uh, should have a piece of dark uh, material either black or something like that with another brick fence post and then it goes one two three four five twice and then steps uh, steps back one two three four and then steps back one two three i did change that uh but in later when it jumps back over in the tutorial you see that these are much bigger and i think i probably show you the bigger ones but i'll try to edit that out um, but other than that that is pretty much it uh, except for the bars uh, you don't have to wrap the iron bars all the way around it uh, again that is uh, pretty much for the museum so if you want to take all these bars off the front at uh, <laughs> later on in the tutorial god this is backwards take all these off except for these right here and then it stops somewhere about in here all right guys before we end the tutorial i've got one more piece to show you i forgot the uh, 50 cal here on the back and it's really really simple it's built kind of like the uh the uh, the bofors cannon and uh, basically all it is is I'll just go ahead and pick this up, pick that up, and I'll show you the side of it. Uh, on these two blocks here that we built, you're just going to make an L, and then you're going to put slabs around the outside, just like that. All right, and then just above that slab, you'll have the, uh, the oak fence gate. So the easiest way to do that is just to double slab up, put your fence gate in, take that back out, and then put your slab back up just like that. And then as far as your seat goes, you can just set something there that you can set against and get rid of that open that back up and then on this top piece here you're going to take a cobblestone wall one two three four five six long and then just put an iron bar on the outside of that uh, really really simple design uh, i forgot to go over that so this will be spliced in somewhere too and that is it for the uss bowfin guys really simple submarine tutorial i uh, really enjoyed this one this was a fun build it took me just a couple hours to throw this together and uh, and i think it did a pretty nice job all right for those that want to put the numbers on the side this was kind of a pain in the ass <laughs> it took me a little while to figure out and, and i went to uh planet minecraft to find the numbers that i wanted and then kind of uh, substituted for the colors so again um, my texture pack here is off but if I switch back over my light gray uh, matches up just fine uh, but anyways for the two uh, is what you're going to need is oops that's not what I want this crafting table <laughs> inside here this is going to be your pattern on the crafting table to make the uh, uh, your banner first so you're going to take your uh, your wool and then a stick and that uh, that's white and that'll make you a white banner and then your next crafting pattern to make this piece here is you're going to take the white pat the banner and then you're going to take the light gray die and put six pieces off 
in the uh, the slots just over here. So these these six here will be your die, and then of course your flag there. All right, the next one to make this piece, uh, you're going to take the uh, the one that you just made over here to the left, and then you're going to put six pieces of light die on the bottom, and then the next one is you're going to take that that banner piece that you just made, put it in the middle, and then use three bone meal across the bottom. All right, and then the next one, you're going to take that banner piece, put it at the bottom, and then take three die to the upper left-hand corner. And then that should give you that little A-looking piece. And then you're going to take that A-looking piece, put it at the bottom, and then take three bone meal going at a, uh, an angle to the right from bottom to top. Uh, and then the last to make the Z is you're going to put that little piece that you just made down here and then put three bone meal across the top and that should give you a z or a two that was the hardest one to make the other ones obviously look pretty easy here all right to make this one here i think i screwed up i don't i don't have my pieces in here but to make this you just take your gray banner and put bone meal across the top so just put it in here put your gray banner on the bottom and then i think it's six pieces no three pieces across the top just like that will give you this one here so it should look, oops, should look just like that. I've got some lag going on. So anyways, that gives you that piece. And then take that piece and put it in your next crafting recipe, which would be three bone meal down the left-hand side. And that'll give you this, this shape. And then the next one down the right side, this one in the middle. And then the next one across the middle and down here. That gives you the A. And then, of course, move this to the middle and then put your three bone meal across the bottom. And that gives you your eight. Pretty simple. All right, again, with your light gray, same pattern that we just did to get this one. And then you're going to take that banner and put it at the top and then use light gray dye at the bottom. And that will give you this piece here. You're going to grab that one and you put it here and then go three diagonal with the bone meal. And that will give you your seven. Pretty easy, but it took me like an hour to figure that out. And again, guys, that is your USS Bofin Baleo, I think is how you say it, submarine. Uh, really, really cool design, really quick. Again, I have a, uh, a full walkthrough tour video when I went to Port, uh, Pearl Harbor that you can use for some really, really awesome detail and put an inside, uh, an interior in this thing. And send me pictures either on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, that would be really, really awesome, and I'll share them, uh, and I'll retweet them and let everybody see them. Uh, when you get this finished, let me know. Like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.